Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the proof of commutative property of linear convolution. Okay. So, what we have to prove? We have to prove that convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n is equal to convolution of x2 of n and x1 of n. Right. So, this is basically what LHS and this is basically what RHS. Right. So, let's start from LHS. So, what is LHS here? Convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n. So, what is the formula? Convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n is equal to what? Summation of x1 of m into x2 of n minus m right where where the limit of this summation m ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity right hope this thing is clear to you fine now what we are going to do is let this n minus m is equal to what p so if you see when m is what minus infinity then what is the value of p so p is equal to what now n minus p so n minus of minus infinity so it becomes what plus infinity overall right now when m is equal to plus infinity so p is equal to what n minus m so n minus infinity so it becomes what basically minus infinity clear and one more thing if n minus m is equal to p so m is equal to what n minus p right so you have to remember this also how we are doing this right so basically now what we have to do this is equation number one so in equation number one replace m with n minus p and n minus m with p then your equation number one becomes what so lhs will become this will be equal to summation of okay x1 of x1 of in, in the place of m you have to keep n minus p right into x2 of so n minus m is there in original equation so here you have to replace with p okay now p is there so the limit of p we already calculated so p will go from minus infinity to plus infinity right so now rearrange this you can write this as summation of summation of x2 of p okay into x1 of n minus p where the limit of p ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity clear now if you see this this is nothing but see x2 of p into x1 of n minus p and the limit of p is what ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so if you observe this this is nothing but convolution of x2 of n and x1 of n am i right so this is what basically rhs so we started from lhs and we got rhs so this property got proved here i hope it is clear to you fine so if you have any doubt in this particular proof so you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching